Okay, we're back in the Mini Digger with Icon Excavator, looking at some new features in version 8 of the Icon software. Uh, loads of new features in this, but I'm just going to focus on um, a couple of my favourites for the excavator side of things. So, we're on a site model. Um, I've got my road uh, actually set to formation, so you can see the, uh, the cut there if I slew over. That's how deep we would need to dig. However, what I want to show you is a new feature. Um, it's actually called Create Trench Model, but I found that it works just as well to create structures above the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this road hasn't got a footpath around it, so I'm going to put in a standard highway footpath around that road. How would I do that? Right, I'll go into Volumes, and I'll go to my toolbox, and I'll go to Surfaces, and you can see this Trench Creation Model here. So it says create new trench, yep, yeah, I'll do that. So there's um, a generic template for a trench. I could just go ahead and use that if I wanted to do a, a certain type of trench. But I'm gonna delete these. And I'm gonna cheat a bit and create something else. That's an offset, so I don't want a vertical offset there. I'll put that to zero. Right, there's my starting point. So let's call that bottom of curve or channel line. What do I want to do? I want to go up. How high is a curve? Generally 0.125 face. So I'm going up and then um, in for the taper of the curve. So that's uh, 0.025. All right, zoom in. We can start to see it taking shape. So yeah, I'll apply that to the right hand side. Now. Uh, width of the footpath, call it 2 meters, might be 1.8 with uh, both curbs taken into account, but you'll get the picture. Um, and my change in height for a footpath is about 60 mil. Oh, not six, so 600, 60 mil. So that's generally it. All right, uh, that's the right as well. That's it. I could drop down, but that'll do for my. Um, footpath template. Happy. Where do I want to apply it? To this line. That's gone inside the road, so if I just change ends, now it's gone outside. Happy. Tick. Give it a name. Footpath. Tick. Tick. There it is. Back to the digger. Pick the footpath, and there is my footpath profile. Let's have a look. Beautiful. I could trim up my stone ready for tar, or um, I can do some volumetrics. Let's have a quick look at a volumetric. Right, volumes. Um, what do I want to do? Calculate volume. I just need to pick my footpath. Right, toolbox, calculate volume, surface to surface. So I'm going to put both these surfaces as the footpath, and then that just means I can offset the elevation of one so I can replicate tar depths, stone depths, you name it, and get a decent volumetric of that complicated um, surface. So design surface is footpath as well. Tick. So obviously, cut and fill is zero because I'm comparing to the same surface but now I'll just offset my design uh, what's um, the wearing course about 40 mil so if I go 0 0.0 0 0.04 to the minus that's how much um, topping or wearing course of tarmac I'm going to use uh, what's your average MOT in a footpath about 200 mil that's how much stone I'm going to use. It's just got loads and loads of different applications. I love it. Um, I did mention some other new features in this version. One is simple things like now we can turn off a bit like MC1. We can turn off the image of the machine. I'll go to here, excavator uh, visibility, and I can choose just the bucket. Or if I'm doing some really intricate work, I found it is quite handy just to have the cutting edge. So you've literally just got the business end that you can match up to these different lines. 
Okay, that's it for now. Bye for now.